Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh and this is my son. What's your name? Tyson. Yeah, sorry. His name's Tyson. And he's actually wearing another ugly shirt. So thanks internet for encouraging him from his last ugly shirt. We appreciate that. You don't think that's ugly? No, this is a sick shirt. The other one, sure, maybe, but this one's sick. Please leave a comment below uh, telling Tyson how ugly his shirts are, so maybe if he Catherine listens, he, won't, he will not heard. listen to me because I'm his dad, and he's like, well, you, you're you dumb because you're my dad, and so I don't want to hear anything you have to say. So First that's... of all, my girlfriend got me this shirt, okay? <laughs> his girlfriend's really nice, though, we're going to say. And second of all, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Guess how ugly this is. <laughs> On a scale of, how many Jeffree stars do we want to give this shirt? Anyway, so. <laughs> what? So today we're going to go into, oh, by the way, we're at Mark's. Guys, you, you see me hanging out with Mark lately. We're out in uh, another area of this country. <laughs> We're on a vacation. We're staying in an RV, and the kids were on a, we're on the river. It's a beautiful spot, but this is Mark's haunted house that he bought. So Mark bought this property on the river. It's a beautiful property, but this is the house he's going to tear down. So we decided we're going to do it from the haunted house, and it's I dared Tyson to sleep down here, but he won't do it. Why not? You said you said yourself I could get mold in my lungs. No, <laughs> for prolonged breathing of mold. So one night, night <laughs> oh, one, one night will not kill you. He's such a drama queen. Just, <laughs> just sleep in the haunted house. I just Stop don't, a baby. It smells bad. I just don't want to yeah, breathe it mold. is bad here. It's not drama. <laughs> it's Beth. It's definitely more spider webs down here and creepiness. Like, and it's cold and musty. Yeah, it's I was like, like walking down here and they're getting stuck on my tiny little arm hairs and stuff. And then he tripped into some boards over there and, and literally put a nail through his leg. And now he has to get a tetanus shot. So <laughs> thanks. Thanks, Haunted House. Today we're talking about um, the Daniel Cohn story. We're gonna keep d diving in a little bit deeper. And last time we brought Tyson on, we talked about uh, the eight passengers thing from a teenager's perspective. So you guys liked what Tyson had to say. He's got some cool insight because he is a teenager himself. Uh, Tyson, you graduated this year, you're heading to university, but he's still 18 and he still understands this culture probably a lot more than I do because he's immersed in it. Like you have TikTok, you have Snapchat, you have all the things that most teenagers have. And he's kind of tied into this world. He knows a little bit about the story, but we're going to ask him a couple questions about what he thinks from his perspective, anybody out there with teenagers. I think in the end, this is worth a conversation with your teenagers because, to, and I'm going to say it again, from my perspective, this is not okay. I'm sorry. Like some people were commenting on how I said, oh, don't say it's disgusting and whatever. I, maybe I should clarify. I don't think that Danielle Cohn is disgusting. I think the situation and the thing that her mother is doing to her is disgusting. But at the same time, you know, dressing like that. So Tyson, you've seen the Instagram. Let's open it up. Have you seen the Instagram? I, you, you showed other people and I was gonna go look at okay. it. Okay, I'm gonna show it to you. It. I want your first impression <clears throat> of her Instagram, okay? It's from, from a dude who's a teenager who understands this world, okay? okay? Where is it? Of course, I have zero service in the haunted house. Danielle Cohn is her name? Yeah. Okay, so in your first impression, because you already know her age because I told you, but your first impressions of, let me find one that's not super disgusting. How old does she look like to you? How old does she look? Go through. Definitely not 13. Right? And probably, in, in, we don't even know. If you go farther back in her Instagram, she could be 12 or even 11 as far as some people are concerned, right? So Tyson's, like, what does that show you? Like, is that a normal thing? Like, do you see, like, look at this. She's wearing lingerie. She's 13. She's wearing lingerie. Okay. The lingerie is a little sus. Um, uh, can you please define sus? What? I know what it means. They don't, they don't know. Oh, so, okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, crap. Um, sus is like, it's just short form for suspect. So it's like okay. when you call something like, it's just a way of calling something like suspicious or like okay. oddly, oddly out sus. of the norm, like something like that. A 13 year old girl should not see? be dressing like this. I mean, that's just a bathing suit. A j Dude, it's made of elastics. There's like almost nothing there. Okay, it's really messing with my mind because you keep saying she's 13, but she doesn't look 13. Okay, I think so maybe, I'm like, okay, oh, okay, so, okay, it's okay, fine go. that she's wearing so that. So maybe in, maybe in this one, because it's a newer image, she might be 14 because she just turned 14. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So imagine though, let's See, that, that one's not bad. Okay, but, so this is her normally. She looks like a 13 year old girl, 14 year old girl. Yeah. So I don't, <laughs> like okay, it, so, so you the got makeup the makeup makes all the difference, eh? Right, so. Here's the issue. As a, as, so from a, from a teenage boy who, who's grown up in the world of social media, and you know, like let's say, okay, so Tyson, Tristan turns 14. He goes into grade 9. Mm -hmm. You're in high school, and there's a grade 9 girl that has an Instagram like this. What, what's the word? What reputation does she gain at school because of that? Does, and do you know a girl that has an Instagram like this? I don't know a girl that has an Instagram like that. Like, girls will take pictures, like, in their bikinis and stuff, obviously, but not in a way where, like, that is clearly, like, they're trying to be, like, 
like a model. Like she, yeah, like, yeah. She, like well, she's, she, yeah, she is. An she's model. clearly like a model, and she. All those pictures are like stereotypical, like the same type of pictures that you see when you get those like. You'll follow meme accounts on Instagram, and then meme accounts make money through sponsorships. Which is what and they, a lot exactly. of these sponsorships that these meme accounts do are these models. And so yep. I'll be scrolling through my feed, and all of a sudden I see this massive ass on my screen. I'm like, where is this coming from? <laughs> what should I buy? And then you go and you click on the profile, and it's like this model's Instagram looks exactly like this okay. girl's Instagram. Like they. But look they're like, usually older, of age. Oh, of course. Generally. If this girl went to your school. What kind of, and we're in Canada, so it's a kind of a different world. She's in California, it's probably normal out there. But does she get what, and this, for bad or good, for right or wrong, does she get a reputation from this? I think it depends on her, how she is in real life too, not just how she's portrayed on Instagram. Because yeah, cause okay. someone, someone can have an Instagram and they look like this completely different person on Instagram, but everything you see on Instagram is like 96% fake anyways. Yeah. So she could be a genuinely nice person and she could not live a lifestyle that she's portraying on her Instagram. So and you it, hit the nail it, on the head. It's ex And this is my take, my gut on Danielle Cohn is that she's not like this at all. Yeah. And if you watch her video where she, and we'll get into that in a second, um, but it, it seems like she's more innocent than she portrays and her mother, but here's the issue. Her mother is the one doing this for her. So think about that for a second. Her mother is saying, we need to take these photos. Mm -hmm. we need, you need to put this on. You need to do this. You need to dance for everybody. You need to do that. She's basically low level pimping her daughter out to the internet. As an 18 year old boy, how does that, like what is your impression, what's your first impression of that where a mother, you know specifically that a mother is pushing this on a teenager. How does that make you feel? I personally, and again, I'm personally like against anything, being forced to do something that you don't want to do. So. If she, if Danielle Cohn's like genuinely against it and her mom's forcing her to do it, yeah, obviously that's terrible. But even if Danielle Cohn's okay with it, it's still like, if she's 13 years old, like actually 13 years old, that's like, she's like, 14 now, that's but exploitation. Yeah. Well, even it, if you're 14, you're still young. Yeah, you're exactly. in grade nine. You have no idea what life is like. You have no idea. Yeah. Like there's still lots of stuff you learn. Like when <laughs> I was in grade nine, I was so stupid, <laughs> but, uh, I can attest to that. <laughs> Tristan's going into grade nine. Anyways. This should be a fun year. Oh, Tristan. But it's COVID, so hopefully they can just like social distancing well. Anyway, but so your impression is that, you know, it's not okay to exploit from an 18 year old mouth, okay? Here's an, so like, I get, I get if she was maybe older, like if she was maybe 16 yeah, and it was, okay. and it was her choice and her mom was like her manager or something. But if she's like 13, 14 and legit being exploited, like doesn't have a choice in doing this. I think it's like, that's a different story. I think it's like, yes, yeah, she's, she probably does have a choice, but her mother probably guilts her into saying, look, all these things that we have, the cars, the houses, the money that we have mm -hmm. is because you do this. And if you stop doing that, we no longer have that. So she, my impression is that she puts the pressure on Danielle to, by saying those things to say, mm -hmm. um, if you don't do these things, we're kind of screwed. Now that's probably where it's coming from because it's easy, literally, and everybody knows this, it's easy to, 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 I don't know, groom or to, convince a 14 year old or a, a, a younger person to do things you want because they're impressionable. There's an age where they are now where everything they are, they're learning and you can easily trick somebody into doing something stupid. Yeah, it's which means that other girls who are her age, if they find out her real age, cause you said that, yep. what, her mom said she was 17. So yeah, her mom was lying to everybody. So everyone thought she was 17. If younger girls who are her age finding out they're the same age and they see this, I think it's okay. Those those people are so influenceable. It's not yeah. even funny. They're gonna start. They're gonna be like, "This girl lives like this, so should I live like this?" Like, you know what I mean? I'm not saying so, that there's necessarily no, but you're there's right. nothing wrong with wearing whatever you want to wear. But if you're 13 and you're exposing like your body out to the world, especially under like exploitation, that's yeah. that's like that's different. It's just my take is that there's so many predators out there who are, and then you're oh, yeah, and you're literally giving them the. The, the stuff for them to like, it's just, to me, it's gross. Like you can never stop a predator from being a predator. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, you can, you can castrate and throw them in jail. But what I'm saying is you can't stop a secret predator from being a secret predator, but why give them the fodder to do it? Like to just, it just, for me, it's a mental thing. I know it's not maybe, but you, and, and if you're Instagram famous, um, she has 18 million followers on TikTok. If you're that type of famous, predators are probably gonna target you. Mm -hmm. So not only are you, yeah, you're giving them fodder for the internet, but these guys now might be looking for you, might be looking for an opportunity to come at you, to get your autograph, to come close to you. And if she's this famous at 14, again, it's not, it's gonna take some, maybe some dude to come along and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. here's the next topic. She lets the boyfriend live there. Okay. Danielle gets pregnant at 13. So then she terminates her pregnancy, okay? okay. So as a 13 year old, as an 18 year old, 
Now, regardless of what we believe, pro-life, pro-choice, whatever else, that as a decision as a 13 year old, when you were 13, or imagine Tristan had to make this decision, how does that, like what's your first impression of someone thinking that the only way out is to get a termination? See, like, now this is a different world oh that these gosh. kids live in, right? They were raised in the world of digital technology and social media and the way that they've been taught at school is completely different than the way I was taught at school. See, this is like, this is really weird because like when I was- I'm a, going to kill that dog. When I was a- uh, Why is he barking? Oh, Mark's here. This, when is, you were. this is like really tricky because I, like I don't even know how to process this because when I was her age, I was afraid of girls. So like the fact that she's like, what? That's crazy to me. That doesn't even make any sense to me. Um, well, I think I think the world of fame though <sighs> brings its what? brings its own issues and its own problems. Right? She's attracting boys huh. who want to be. And here's my gut on this: it's not that they're really attracted to her; it's that they're attracted to that lifestyle of fame. And so the mom, I'm pretty sure this is, and I could be wrong. You guys can correct me. But the mom brings these boys into the circle because it's part of the Instagram: the fake breakup stories. The, they had fake pregnancy stories. They had really? fake, yeah, fake everything stories. And. Um, and there were real breakup stories where her mom forces her to film on camera when they have breakups and she's bawling her eyes out and it's like heartbreaking to watch. Like she's literally broken down on camera. A 13 year old girl, heartbroken on camera for everybody to see and her mom is exploiting every moment of this thing. And then there's all these tapes that were leaked um, about this girl Virginia who was a friend of the family, was apparently is out on the outs now, who recorded, sat down with them and had a conversation with the mom and Danielle, mm -hmm. Jennifer and Danielle, and re released the tapes and was like, De Jennifer let her do terminate. Jennifer lets her do all these things, and this other woman who's concerned for for Danielle is saying, "You got to stop doing this." The dad is looking for them to stop doing it. The dad has reached out to the to the um, to all the companies that uh, that sponsor her, and they're like, "You need to stop. She's underage," and they just ignored her. The whole issue here is the underage thing. Tyson is of age now. In California, the age of consent. Someone said 16, but I googled it and. I know Google is generally right about this thing because it's the first thing that popped up. The age of consent in, in California is 18 years old. So really? she can't be consenting. I'm surprised. It's she cannot consent. Here. It's 16 here. She cannot consent. And the issue is, oh, is if yeah, she has a boyfriend, what? if she has a boyfriend living there and they're doing things, which they could be or could not be, the mom could be using that as leverage to say, you have to stick around. You have to be here or I'm going to literally, because it's up to the parent to charge the, the boy or the girl yeah. for, and both can be charged by the way, mm -hmm. for um, underage or whatever, it's for, for sex without consent or whatever it is. They can, so they can do that, so. See, the sad thing is, is like this age that Danielle's at is like the most important age for shaping like who you are as a person. And yeah. the, way, the way you look at life, the way you yeah. decision make, the way that you problem solve, like all those types of things. If she's being surrounded into a lifestyle like this at such a young age, she's going to shape into a completely different yes. person than she would be if she didn't do that. Yeah. And she could have turned out like that's going to affect her future careers and stuff too. Like yep. all this, all these stories and stuff, people are not going to want to deal with that controversy. The internet is forever. The, people are not going to want to deal with that controversy. That's just how the world works. The second you screw up on the internet, nobody cares. You're done for. What is she going to do? She doesn't go to school. She's, I think she's homeschooled or she has a teacher that she goes to. Mm -hmm. She's just, she can't go to school because she's too famous, right? She mm -hmm. literally would be. She can't. So she's not only, you're right. So the, the way that she's, this is why I reached out to, and I said this on the video and I don't know if she watched it. I said last time, get out of this life now. You still have an opportunity. Yeah. If you stop right now, wait a few years, 16, even 16. I would say at like 16 minimum to start doing like that type of influencer lifestyle. Yeah. If you want to be a model, go ahead. Nothing wrong with being a model. Yeah. But like at 13, yeah, you can be a, like a normal model, but you don't have to be a 95% naked model. Yeah. There's a difference. Of the, yeah, like you know the, what I mean. Why can't you like? Why can't we teach our kids to be good influences? Like this, I'm not saying that Danielle Cohn is a bad influence. I'm just saying that the mother has created a bad influence of her, saying it's okay to be this way if you're 13, 12. But also that she was lying about it. So it's like it's. Yeah. Why would she lie about it? If she thought it was okay. So she knows it's not okay. That's the issue, right? Why lie about it if you know it's okay? Even 17 is not age of consent. And these advertisers. And so the next step here is to say. We need to go after the advertisers. If you guys are if you guys are serious about Daniel Cohn's story, you need to go after the the drink company here, or here. I'll put it here. <laughs> go after the drink company. Start tweeting at them. Start Instagramming. They don't care because they only use models to, to model the drinks. I forget what it's called, some company. But you need to go after all the the people that are the clothes. And this isn't against Daniel Cohn. This is against. This is pushing Jennifer to stop this thing because you could still. She, honestly, if they decided to keep going, you could still keep going. But just bring it bring it back a few notches. Just do normal stuff. Like at this point, she's so tied. I think Jennifer's so tied I mean, up in this girl and her and the money that they make that she there's no turning back at this point. I feel like 
they could have just kept doing what they were doing if they didn't just expose their personal issues to the world. Like some of those that you were saying, yeah. like the termination, the breakups and stuff, there's yeah. absolutely like, I don't want to go on YouTube and see, oh, how we broke up here. So like, I don't care about your relationships. I don't care about your yeah. life. I care about my own life. Yeah. I just like watching stuff to entertain me. Yep. Don't tell me your personal issues. Don't tell me your personal problems. There's zero reason to expose yourself to the world like that. Like I get it if you're just being a model. Yeah, brand yep. brand, brand ambassadors, stuff like that. Like those types yep. of things, yep. just taking pictures, whatnot. Yep. But when you get to when you get to a point where you're like when you're her age and you've had these things come out to the world and then her mom's getting exposed for these types of things and yep. the dad's coming out and then this outcaster of the family's coming out. Like yep. all these things are coming up and just creating this like ball of controversy that is going to last for a very long time. And it will give them a short-term gain because it is. Yeah. Right? But in the long run, this is the beginning of a cancellation like Mike and James, right? So look, they're trying their best to come back. It's not going to happen. And like here's it's not happening. Danielle Cohn's not going to get canceled. It's the mom that's going to get canceled. Yeah. Danielle Cohn's not doing anything wrong. But she's going to be in the wake of it all. Oh, of course. Yeah. But if she can, again, if she can step away from it now, go back to live with your dad, Danielle. He's, he's reaching out to you. Go stay with your dad and figure this out. If she steps away now, the internet has a long-term memory, yes, and of course mm. that'll always pop up, but at least it'll change. Look at, okay, look at, you know how I look at this as a member of, uh, what's her name, Friday? She sang Friday. Rebecca Black. Oh, yeah. Became an internet meme. She was in the same boat. Rebecca Black is in the same boat. These girls who look like adults who are now influencers, who she stepped away, right, for a long period of time. She oh, was yeah. like, a, she took like a the huge internet was break. like, she took a huge break. Even the friends around her got, got hit, and now, She's back out in the social media world and nobody's like talking about it. It's great. Yeah. And she's doing it right. And Rebecca, I think Rebecca Black had great intentions, but her, again, her parents, I think that got away from them. I don't think they did it on purpose. Yeah. But this person's mother is, it's, this is a different story because her mother is literally doing this and on camera said, I force her to do this. I tell her to do this. She doesn't get a break. She has to do it. She said that on camera. She said it on camera. And she's like, dance for, takes, put these clothes and dance. And she sh people behind the scenes watching her mom saying, dance, dance, dance. Yeah, and she like problem. forces her to do That's it. a huge problem. And then the live-in boyfriend, this guy named Mikey or whatever, he's 17, I think he's 18 now. He's of consent. She's not. And she, he lives there. But it's all about the part of the drama. You're right. Tyson's got a great point here. If you want to be an influencer as a child, like, and your parents are cool with it, figure out a way you can do it properly. But do, why do you have to include the drama? Does it really make you that much money? And is the money in the end worth everybody knowing every single part of your uh, your whole story? Also, another problem, like here's the thing. Does, does Danielle's mom and her, do they call Danielle an influencer? Is yeah, that of what course. They, that's what yeah, they refer, yeah. okay. Well, well she's, not, she's not an influencer. No, she models, is though. Models are not influencers. Models are well, not they influencers. call themselves influencers. Models are one of the biggest problems in this world when it comes to body image issues, self-confidence issues especially in women, it is crazy. I know so yep. many girls, my girlfriend included, which makes zero sense to me, crazy. Like she always talks about this stuff. Girls' Instagrams, okay. they're full of models yep. and they just sit there and they scroll through Instagram and they see these models and then their own self image just gets deteriorated day after day after day after day. Because they don't look and like it's them. it's crazy. Models are not influencers in no, no. any way, shape Models are influencers. They shouldn't be, is what you're trying to say. They are Kay. influencers influencers right but anyways but literally all they're doing is they take pictures models obviously have nice bodies yep. they look like they're living luscious yep. perfect successful lifestyles all you're doing is showing other people that's what i need to be what i'm doing is wrong this is the way yep. things should be done oh my body needs to look like hers sometimes it's impossible to get a body like that because either it's fake or you just can't control the way that you grow as a person yep so like some of the, and that's why so you're seeing a bunch of teenagers and young ages stuff like that. Yeah, but now you're seeing a bunch of teenagers and young adults getting plastic surgery to look like that. Yeah, when they're already beautiful. Like everybody's beautiful on a level, right? Everybody's got their like their thing. But I'm seeing young girls who already were like very attractive, mm -hmm. like in their 20s, early 30s, who are just beautiful, and now they're getting big giant lips. They're getting fillers. They're getting butt implants to look like these Instagrammers who look like some of these people have lips that look like, like. Like they, I don't know what they put in there. Like helium? I don't get it. I don't, I'm not trying to like body shame people who have plastic surgery because a lot of women do it. I just don't get it. I, and if you're right. So the influence is negative because your girlfriend and other women and men. Yo, men. Huge. Men look at it and say, well, I want that. And that's what, sh that's why girls do what those girls do because, well, in order to get the boy that I like, I need to look like that because he's looking at her. Mm -hmm. And so the issue here is, the overall issue is that Instagram and all these places perpetuate this and don't care. What I'm saying is that 
we need to like there is an age limit first of all so De jennifer broke the law by putting her on the internet not broke the law broke instagram and tiktok's probably you have to be 13 right at minimum to start these accounts yeah, you can't have a you TikTok. Said she's 13 no? but she started when she was 11. oh okay so she started way younger than that doing this and even at, up to the point where she just turned 14 so all these new pictures maybe she's 14 for the last whatever two or three months or whatever she turned yeah whatever was she was underage as opposed as instagram and what does instagram do about it nothing because instagram makes money off of it so if we don't pressure these social media platforms to actually follow their own rules instead of banning everybody else who just don't agree with them politically I get that Instagram and, and, and all these Twitter and all these places are banning people politically because oh politicals. But why are they not coming after predators, underage people who are modeling and all that stuff? Why are they just? Why is everybody ignoring that? Mm -hmm. Right? Because you're hearing it from a teenage boy's perspective, who is I think a generally very smart guy, and and him and his Tyson and his friends similar think. Right? You guys are very similar. Would you say you're? You, would you stand out among your friends and your on what you're saying, or that they all kind of agree with that? Uh, I don't know. My friends are kind of dumb. I mean, Sorry, actually, <laughs> no, <laughs> um, like yeah, yes and no. Yes and no. I feel like I, I process things very differently than my friends do. Like okay. the way my brain works is very different than everyone else. Yes and no. Some of them specifically. Yes. Some of them specifically. No, it just depends. Right. So pick a, pick a friend for me, Andy, Andy, uh, if you had this conversation with Andy about this girl, would you say, Hey, check out how old do you think this girl is? What do you think he'd say? Oh, he wouldn't say 13. He'll give me something like yeah. at least 18. Okay, so then sure, then, then tell sure. him the story and what is his reaction from you think? Because I like Andy. He's a good kid. Do you he think would, he's going to care? He'd probably use some slang and be like, mod, mod, mod or something like that. <laughs> 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 Thank God Tyson has a brain. But So this is what I'm saying. But look, a lot of teenagers, I think, I know you think differently, but I think a lot of teenagers are coming around to this idea of like, you were being sold everything on a silver platter by these, by these influencers and Instagram and everything else. The conversation needs to be had between your kid and you and your kids, even at a young age, to say, look, look at these ads, look at these people, here's what they're doing. And if you expose them to the, the scientific side of it or the, I don't know, what's, if you expose them to the analytical side of it and say, this is what is happening here, it's fine to let them look at it or whatever then, but as long as they understand what's being fed into their brain. I'm going to kill that dog. <laughs> Gus, you're so annoying. What are you barking at, huh? Go. Oh. How is Dangly Chains gonna be in the video? Okay, Gus, lay down. <laughs> All right, so so yeah, you heard it from an 18 year old, but he, okay, so Tyson, yeah, I do think Tyson stands out as 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 far as your because we know we talk we talk political things, we talk like we do have open dialogue a lot yeah. about this stuff. I'll ask him because I want his opinion. What is he drinking? He's drinking the Oh, great. That dog's gonna straight up die. <laughs> Me a zombie dog after this. This gets better and better. <laughs> anyway, so, so uh, you know, I'm, uh, thanks for coming on, Tyson. Like, you know, I love having Tyson's perspective, especially on these types of things that are kind of serious. At the same time, it's good for you guys to get a teenager's perspective who who's well thought out. I think it's good to maybe Tyson needs to have his own channel where he talks to teenagers about being stupid assholes, <laughs> but because uh, I think they should be listening to him. I'm not saying Tyson does it all right all the time, but he, I think you've got yeah, your head no. on right. I think you've done a lot of great things in your life and big things to come. This is an important topic and I think that the, the steps we have to do now are go after the advertisers to say stop using this girl because you're using her just like her mother is and you guys should be ashamed of yourself. We need to go, we need to like go after Instagram and all these people to say or lobby them and say look you got to stop letting underage girls because there's a, I, there's more. I found out people were sending me more pictures of these 12 year old girls. Really? 12 year old girls looking like this. Like it's mind blowing. They look like adults and it's just creep city. So we have to lobby these people to say, stop allowing this to happen. And as soon as it happens, they should be gone. There's clearly a pattern of when you have kids that look way older than they are. Because you're yeah. saying that there's other girls, there's this girl. There's lots of them. I've heard about cases like this before in the past. There's yeah. clearly like a repeating pattern of these girls who clearly look a lot older than they are, and then they just get exploited for it. By That's the, crazy. And by their parents, That's usually. That's crazy. And if you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you're a parent of a kid who's an influencer out there modeling, just... Like, and if you don't care, that's stupid too. Like, if you're not a part of it, you're not exploiting it, but you're letting them do it, it's just as bad. Like, you gotta be careful. Let's make this whole thing about being a parent to protect our kids again. Protect your kids again. It's more important to ha let them have a bright future instead of wasting their youth on something like this that in the end will, will damage them more than anything before mm -hmm. that, right? So, yeah, now you might be making a ton of money. Yeah, they're influencers now, but what happens in the future? What are they gonna, what is their career gonna be after this? Mm -hmm. Especially if you're not going to school, like you can, you can change, yes, you can do other things, but what are you gonna do after this when the money is easy now, right? And this becomes your lifestyle. When you have this type of lifestyle, how hard is it to go back to the real world after this, right? 
And just to clear all angles, we've been talking a lot about underage girls specifically. It yep. doesn't matter your gender. If you are 13, whether you're female or male, you should not be posting these kinds of pictures on the internet. Especially males, I think it might even be worse because we develop a lot later than women do. So if you're sexualizing men from a younger age than they can yep. even be sexualized, that's that's also a problem. Yep. So it doesn't matter what you are, it's the age. It's yep. the age. And let... And, and let it, I think a 16 year old, I think when Tristan turns 16, I'll probably allow him to do a lot more with his, uh, honestly, maybe not even. It's more about maturity level, mm -hmm. right? If your kid can make a smart choice and some kids develop way earlier and have way, like I know Mark, Mark's a good buddy of mine. He's got an 11 year old daughter. I swear to God, she's like 14, the way she talks, the way she's, she reacts, she's very mature. And so it's just a matter of like, how you raise your kids is important, but don't exploit your kids, right? Let them make choices, but make sure that you're, you've you developed that bond strong enough so that when they make a choice, they know that you what you've taught them is gonna be brought into the conversation. And they're gonna make that choice based on, you know what, we had this conversation, I made this mistake before this dog is just... Hi, Gus. <laughs> anyway, all I'd say, I'm glad Tyson, we have this perspective. You, you should let your kids watch this, but I think overall everything at the end, have a conversation with your kids about influencers, about this, and sit down with them and scroll through it and be like, see this picture? Let's see, it's holding the can of pop there. That's what they're advertising. That's what they're putting in your brain. And you don't need to look like this. I think body image positivity is important, but also it has to do with like, do not just strive to be this person because that's not you, right? There's that's a difference between body image positivity and then just over-sexualizing your body. Exactly. Because people like to uh, mix this dog. Goss! Go, finish your sentence. People like to mix and match the two and say that like, oh, sexualizing your body is just... I've lost my train of thought hey, at this oh, point. People over oh my goodness. Go, go, go. People like to confuse the two and say that over-sexualizing your body is the same as like body image, yeah. confidence, and like that type of thing. It's not even close to the same thing whatsoever. Body image is being okay with the way your body looks, no matter how it looks. Not yep. getting an amazing, super hot body and then flexing it to the world. Yeah. There's yep. a huge difference. Yeah, so. good point, really good point. It's been good, guys. Ty check out Tyson's merch in the store below. The <laughs> Never Forever merch. That's how he sports them to go to university. You guys already bought like $100 worth of shirts and it's amazing. Really? It's the Never Forever logo. I owe you that money. Sorry, okay. I'll, get up to, I'll get to him. He's, it's just sitting there. <laughs> Anyway, Tyson starts school in, in the fall. I'm excited about his like what he's going to be doing. He's going to be producing music and stuff. You can check him out at Vento. I got, I'll put the link below. His music's really cool. Um, and so if you guys have questions for Tyson or whatever, you want to have him on for an episode, I actually want to bring you and Catherine on for an episode we're going to do in the future about uh, competitive athletes and the pressure that their parents put on them and how healthy it is. Oh, that'd be sick. Because his, his girlfriend's heading to Michigan yeah. for a soccer scholarship, and she's like dope at soccer. I watched her. I'm like, I would not... I would not play soccer. She'd kill me. She's so good. She's like Catherine, so fast. if you're watching this, you're so good at soccer. Like she's lightning. She's all, how tall is she? She's taller than me. She's 5'10". Yeah, she's same height as me. And like, hey, there she goes. <laughs> <laughs> she's like soccer. And so she's an elite athlete, right? So it'd be cool to have you a perspective of teenage athlete on who is literally going to an ath like athletic scholarship and understanding the pressure she was put on by her parents and herself and her friends and all the, and the world of that. So mm -hmm. that's gonna come up soon. Thanks guys for watching. We love you. You are our therapy. Well, I don't know about him. This shirt's not my therapy. <laughs> we'll see you next time. roast my shirts in every single video. Every single video. That's what you need, brother. <laughs>